All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So in the previous riding videos, you guys asked for more riding videos. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Let's hit the trails. All right, let's get the uh, 181 monkey all fired up. Get her warmed up. All right, let's get this adventure started. This is the first time I've been out here on the monkey uh, with the knobby. So we'll see how how good it does pedaling all this sand out. There's like thousands and thousands of acres to ride at out here on the Eglin Range. I've already checked the map. We're good to go. Paid my dues for the year. I have been stopped out here one time by uh, security forces. All they wanted to do was just to verify that I had my, my pass to be out here. They were super cool and nice guys. I'll tell you one thing, the sun has, not that, well the sun, the heat has been ridiculous out here in Florida. It was like every day for like five days straight we had like 105 plus heat index and it has just been miserable. So this is like the first like two days that it's been bearable to even like be outside. downshift the first oh it's super soft I just get in a second yeah so like I was saying this is like like I said the last two days it's been bearable to be outside I could have swore when I looked at the map this goes into the woods at some point maybe not may have to pull the map out and look I am definitely definitely ready for fall we got a new uh new paddleboard or Kylie did so we're gonna take on the uh, the hobby of going paddleboarding we went once already and we absolutely love it we both stood up for the first time on it or for our first time ever going we both stood up on the paddleboard so that was cool we got a boat uh, I think it's the wolf series We have family coming into town this weekend so i wanted to get some more content for you guys we got i've got family coming in town for like the next three weekends so i wanted to find some time to break away and get on some of these trails oh i don't know if y'all seen but uh man in the box and his team over at barber motorsports park they they rode a 50cc Honda Ruckus, I think for like 18 hours and some change. And I was supposed to be there to film some of the content. I was gonna go and do a, uh, a live stream of it, but I ended up having a, uh, a wedding that weekend and I just I just couldn't make it. I can't wait for them to release the, uh, the official video. I mean, kudos to that kid for riding. I wanna say it was like a little over 18 and a half hours. They were trying to beat a, uh, a Guinness World Record and um, the team over at Barber Motorsports Park gave them the park for 24 hours. So I know that was one hell of an experience to be able to get, you know, the grandstand, hospitality room, and the track for 24 hours. Definitely making history. That was cool. I really wish I could have been a part of it. I couldn't imagine riding a 50cc ruckus for more than two hours straight. I think, I think the round track there, or the, the Grand Prix track there is don't quote me. I think every lap's like three miles or just under three miles. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do here. All right, that looks like somebody's huh, porta potty out there. All right, this is what we came out here for: some woods riding. We're still in the works to uh, 181 swap the uh, oh 181. Oh, it's super soft right there. 
you get my balance we're still on track to uh 181 swap the uh, trail the sand here is just super soft i almost ate crap so this exact motor that's in the monkey is going to go into the trail just not we're not going to pour and polish the head it'll make should make right around 20 horsepower and then instead of a CVT four speed, we'll do a CVT five speed transmission. It's gonna be one hell of a ride once, once Wayne gets done putting his magic on it. I can't wait to take this to Clearwater or Clear Creek to the OHV park and ride, especially with these uh, Chinko mobbers. Now all I gotta do is get some riding partners to be able to come out here with me. It gets boring and lonely sometimes riding alone out here. Let's see, if I'm not mistaken, I think this trail should should take us back to the main road pretty sure based off the map I think so the only thing I need left on this build is the uh, over racing titanium swing arm but whew, man that thing's expensive I'd hate to know how much money I've already spent on this bike. I can't wait till Barber, uh, Barber Smallboard next year, and if they have their uh, all their trails open up, I'd love to be able to take this monkey back out there. Because last year I had the 181 out there on stock tires, and it did all right on the trails, but it wasn't wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. Oh, duck. look like anybody's ridden back here in a while. I hope I read the map right and that this goes back to the to the main road or along the main road. Backfiring a little bit. Looks like we're coming up to a main field. Oh yeah, here's the main road. Perfect. I don't think I've ever gone over 40 on these uh, moggers before. Feels different having all these uh, cleats on the road. It's like, uh, road. The road noise is definitely, definitely loud too. Well, that was a fun little rip through the trails. I find me another trail to go through. I need to get more familiar with all these trails out here. 
I think the, this range here is like the world's largest landmass in America uh, for that base. Freaking awesome. Go back to the truck, get some water, and I think I'm gonna head down, head down that trail. Water hydrate. Put her in neutral. All right, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for stopping by the channel. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, leave this video a big thumbs up, and I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.